let's get into out of step. Let's do it. So this is a segment that we came up with. Let me preface this first. The concept of relegation, I think is one of the greatest concepts in professional sports. They do it in soccer and EuroLeague. I love the idea of you're not good enough, you're not playing in the league. It completely, it changes so much within a single league in terms of you don't really see teams tanking. It keeps the product competitive. It, you lose some of the the feeling of like doldrums that you get mm-hmm. in the middle of a season because it's like, oh, you're playing this team that doesn't want to win or whatever it is. And, and it adds an extra layer of fan engagement and, and it gives the fans more to root for. I mean, yeah. Philly fans can speak to that. As much as the process got them in bead and I mean, Ben Simmons, I guess that's a different thing, but it, it, it at least provides something for the fan base as well. So I love the idea of relegation. I want the NBA to adopt relegation. Mm-hmm. And that's what out of step is. We are, are going to relegate teams out of the NBA. So we've cre- we've got three leagues that we created here. We've got the NBA. Everybody knows that's where that's where all the teams are right the now. The best of the best. Yeah, the best of the best. The NBA. But we need a, a step down from the NBA. Now, there kind of is right now with the G League, which I propose you have to say Gatorade League just so that we can continue to highlight how ridiculous that name is. Yeah. But a lot not, of money for that G. But we're yeah, that's, we paid a lot of money it's, for that it's G. It's the most expensive G of all time. Yes, it, I, I would assume so. Yeah, a lot of G's. So I don't want to. I don't want to give Gatorade any more runway here. So we're going to create our own. But I want to stick with the beverage theme because I love the mm-hmm. idea of of lesser leagues being named after beverages. So we need a step down. That's not your go to. It's not great. But average. It's, it's average, but it's not awful. You're not mm-hmm. bummed if you get it. You're just like, oh, yeah, I'll sure, I'll, I'll drink that. That's cool. What's a beverage that fits that description? So we're going to call that one the tea league. The tea league. Hot tea, iced tea. Are you hot or iced tea? I could probably go iced tea. Yeah, but I'm, again, I'm iced. Uh, it's the tea league. It's, <laughs> yes. Sure. Sure. Tea, yeah, here, okay, well, I'm sure. Here that in Southern got, California in yeah. the sun, I'll probably grab an iced tea. Yeah. But, you know, cold winter's day in Massachusetts, I'm probably reaching for that hot tea. Okay, okay. But I'm a coffee person. I got my coffee right here. So tea is like whatever. I think yeah. that's perfect. Now we need to go a step below that. What's a beverage that's like, I don't want to drink that. If somebody served it to you, you would say thank you, and then you would never touch that glass again. There's probably a portion of our audience that's going to be pretty mad about this, but it's a pretty small portion, I think. Okay. And that's the Clamato League. Ooh, the C that's, League. That's the C League. Clamato. That's Clamato. Clamato itself is pretty gross because it's really like a mixer. But if somebody poured me just a glass of Clamato, I you would thirsty? be... You thirsty? You want a glass of Clamato? Yeah, yeah. I'm it's parched. Cold glass of Clamato? I'm parched. Give me that Clam- Clamato. So, okay, the C League. So we got the NBA, the T League, and the C League. That's right. So we've broken the league down into these three leagues. So give me right now, who do we have in the NBA? Who's who's staying where so they are? So in the NBA right now, we've got the Warriors, Suns, Jazz... Bulls, Nets, Bucks, Heat, Grizzlies, Cavaliers, and your Philadelphia 76ers. Oh, they're not my Sixers. <laughs> that is not my 76ers. No, they're my 76ers. Okay. I'm not going to lie. Okay. Um, that's the NBA. That's surprising to see just the amount of Eastern Conference teams over Western Conference teams. Because yeah. we, we tend to think as the West being this powerhouse. These are, yeah, these are... That's our winningest teams right now. Okay. Like they, like you said, it leans Eastern Conference right now, but okay. that's that's where the league is. Got it. Now we get into the mess of the tea league. <laughs> it's it's a mess, right? Um so the, the tea, tea bag ripped open. The tea bag just... ripped open. Yeah, it was loose leaf tea, but you didn't know that. And now there's just tea everywhere. And so in that league, we've got the Nuggets, Clippers, Hornets, Lakers, Mavericks, Wizards. Celtics, okay. Raptors, Knicks, Hawks, Wolves, Kings, 
Spurs and the Pacers. Okay, that's a big... It's a big... More teams in the T than in the NBA. Yeah, there's more teams in the T right now, but okay. I, I think that's pretty reflective of where the league is. Yeah, there's yeah, yeah. so many teams hovering in the 500 winning percentage. Maybe the most average season in the last decade. Yeah, and of course, you know, um, any of these teams can move... Like, it's, it's relegation. These teams can move up. These yep. teams can move down. Yeah. So a lot of these teams could go either way. And then we've got the bottom of the league. The, the <laughs> just, they're the, just food for the other teams right now. They're just like mixer. They're, they're just mixer. Yeah, they, they don't, <laughs> they're, they're not winning games. And so the bottom, our C league here is the Blazers, Thunder, Pelicans, Rockets, Magic, and the Detroit Pistons. Okay. That's our bottom here. That's a, that's a, a C league right there. Yeah. So let's start. Let's start more positively. Okay. Who is more likely to move up? Who's likely to move out of the C League? Who's likely to move out of the T League for you? Okay, out of the C League for me, I think it's Portland. Mm -hmm. Because OKC, the Pelicans, Rockets, Magic, my Magic, and the Pistons, they're not really interested in getting out of the C League. Yeah, this is where they want to be. Yeah. They, this is exactly where they, they want to be. They are planted exactly where they wanted to be from the start of the season. So... They're there. The Blazers want nothing to do with the C. The Blazers almost want nothing to do with the T League. They they have yeah they been, they love to be in the NBA. They have been trying <laughs> to get in the NBA for a while now. Yeah, I think they've got the greatest chance. A because they've got the most star power out of anybody in the C League with Damian yeah. Lillard, C.J. McCollum, Nurkic, Nurkic. They on paper they've got a team that should be an NBA mm -hmm. team. So, and they're a team as we approach the trade deadline that looks like they're going to be pretty active. So I think that they can make some moves to get themselves at least into the T league. Yeah. There is a world in which they might graze the NBA. I think it might be a little too late this year. There's also a chance that they make moves that make them want to stay. Yeah. In just the solidify league. them in the C league. There's, there's a chance of that as well. But in terms of right now, I think they've got the most potential to get out of the C league. I think I would agree with you. Let me just throw something at you though. I kind of like the Thunder here. Um, okay. I know that they don't want to win. Yeah. Um, but is there a player in this group of teams here? Is there a young player that has more upside than Shea Gilgis Alexander and Josh Giddy? Yes. His name is Lugens Dort, and he's the future <laughs> logo of the league. I just love this team. I, I don't know what to say. I love the Thunder. They compete hard every night. They're, they're so much fun. They're um, great. I think they have a chance to move into the T-League, but like we're saying, probably upstairs, uh, the suits upstairs are going to make sure that they yeah, don't. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah. I, I think, that I think you're right. I think the they're C-League this year. Yeah. I think next year out of all of these teams – Maybe Blazers aside, we'll see what the trade deadline yeah. brings. Out of the Thunder, Pelicans, Rockets, Magic, Pistons, yes, OKC has the most chance next season to be a T-League team. Okay, I think that's fair. All right, so let's move up to the T-League then, and a, a team that you think could move up into the NBA. So this is this is this is hard, right? I think the Pacers are are kind of where they are, especially if if they end up making some of the trades that they've hinted at with you know their two yeah. bigs wanting to get move off from them. So the Nuggets are tough. They've had a lot of hits this year, especially in their backcourt. But if they can get Jamal Murray back, Which I it think sounds like he he's is, working towards he's on, he's on his way. Yeah, back. yeah. If that happens, I think that that catapults them into the NBA. Mm -hmm. If that happens, I think that they are a contender. I Before Jamal Murray got hurt last season, after the All-Star break... Post-Aaron Gordon trade. It was in my head, oh, Denver's going to the finals. They're going to win everything in the West. That team is so good. And Aaron Gordon's better this year than he was last year. He's having a very quiet, amazing mm -hmm. season. So that, I think, is the big move. Yeah. The other one, if they can figure it out... I think is the Lakers. They've got enough, you know, talent. They just, it's really going to come down to Vogel figuring out how to work some of these machinations and then getting Anthony Davis back. Yeah. You get AD back. They've already kind of hinted that they're not really going to rely on their traditional center as all that much moving forward. Yeah. DeAndre Jordan's yesterday's news. Done. Yeah. Done. Dwight Howard. They don't seem too interested in doing a lot with if Anthony Davis comes back and that truly is this team's philosophy, 
He's going to be playing minutes at the five, and that is the best look that the Lakers can have. And I like this new LeBron at the five look. Yeah. I'm loving it. Yeah. I'm loving it. He's he's pretty unstuck. I mean, he's so big. He's, he's so big. Like, you forget he's because he's such house. a perimeter player. Seeing him play, in my eyes, he's a wing. The LeBron James that I think of is a wing. Pushing the ball down the court. Yeah. Um, making plays for people. I just, I don't want LeBron. Face up to the basket. That's fine. I just don't want LeBron jacking up threes too much. Uh, oh, and I get that. I get that. And that's what I'm saying is that I like this new LeBron is just punishing anybody who's smaller than him. Yeah. And he's picking apart defenses in a, you know, Jokic kind of style, big yeah. man way. And I think that's, a, you know, another look that they could end up going to is more LeBron at the five. And I'm with you. I think they're the team easily uh, in this list, in my opinion, that can move up. Okay. Um, the only if I, if I want to throw a real wild card at you, okay, real wild card because they haven't proved it. Yeah, but again, I love their top end talent is the Mavericks. I, yeah. I think I think the Mavericks have the ability to move up into the NBA. Sure, again, they haven't shown it, but you know, Luca is back now. Mm-hmm. Um, Porzingis has been playing okay this year. Yeah, you know, I think uh, better than last year by most standards. Mavs fans, you know, let me know if. I'm a little off on that. He's but posting up more, which is what he should be doing. He's he's. He, I think he's just overall playing a little better. Yeah. You know, um, the rest of this and Brunson's playing really well. Yeah. Um. So we'll see with them, but they're a team I like to move up. Okay. Okay. And then the Clippers, I think, are in the Nuggets territory where right. it's, if it's they injuries. can get stars back, then they could move up easily. Yeah. But I, I think Nuggets, Clippers, Lakers, those three teams are NBA quality teams. Sure. That. Just right now for... Have T-League luck. Have T-League either luck <laughs> or, you know, whatever. They're not playing up to their sure. standard. Okay. Who's moving down? Who's got the most potential to move down? So let's start with the NBA. Yeah. Who's got the most potential to be relegated down into the T-League? I mean, easily, it, it, you could say the Sixers. The right? Sixers. Because their season has been, you know, 500 Yeah. They're a 500 team. Um, You know, they have... Probably the best overall center in the game. I know a lot of people will. I completely disagree. Uh, haggle with that. Yeah. Um, Jokic. There's no center better than Jokic. Uh, the the problem is you play both sides of the ball, and Joel Embiid is the best defensive center in That's basketball. Fine. Okay. Well, maybe not, but he's up there. Yeah. And, so whatever. He's one of the best two way centers. One of the best yeah. two. One of the best two way players. Yeah. That's just the truth. He's one of the best two way players in the game. Um. Maybe Ben Simmons can come back. <laughs> honestly, honestly. Yeah, like, I don't know if that's going to happen. But if they move Ben Simmons and get something back, why can't Ben Simmons come back? I just don't. I think mean, he we wants don't need to, to go like, too long on this, but I don't think he's going to. I, I don't think that he can't. I just don't think he's going to. Okay. Yeah, that's fair. Okay. So anyway, so Sixers, I think easily could be moving down here just because of injuries and the Ben yeah. Simmons situation. Um, and then the Cavaliers. Yep. Right with. As much as we all want to believe in them, and I think we're all loving this Cavaliers story, Absolutely. right? Mobley and the whole thing. You know, losing Garland now Huge, for a little yeah. bit. I mean, they're just down to nothing in the backcourt. Hopefully, we mentioned Rondo can, you know, just give them competent minutes and keep them afloat. <laughs> I mean, really, that's what they're hoping for. Yeah. They're, they're, you know, um, we'll, we'll play. We'll play uh, our gambling segment on the next episode, yeah. and we can maybe talk about. <laughs> that happened yeah yeah fair enough um so i think those two teams are easily the ones that could move down um the grizzlies have proven too much yeah uh, i'm not uh, ready to jaws yeah they've, they've don't proven too much so those two teams i think are the most likely to move down and then moving down into the t league who could slip into the c league you know I, I, like, to me it's like, obvious like, like the pacers yes. are the obvious one because yeah. of the like you said the trades that could be yes. incoming there's something about Indiana though where they just never can be a like bottom team. They're just a capital they're T just, always. They're just always a T <laughs> team. So like a part of me wants to fight it and think like well, you know, why isn't it the Kings? Why isn't it any of these other teams? But, you know, I, I think the the right answer here is the Pacers yes. and and it's gonna be self inflicted. Oh, a hundred percent. I think they want to do that. Yeah. I think that's what they're they're yeah. striving for. Okay, so we're going to keep an eye on that. We'll keep coming back to this segment throughout the season and see how these teams are moving around in their uh, their relegated leagues. And, and we're just going to track and see who's who's moving up, who's moving down. I'm, yeah. I'm excited. This is fun.